walking home alone late at night in November wearing nothing but a t-shirt and the smells of weed and cigarettes in the cold night air fills my lungs. I feel leaves snap like helpless casualties beneath my feet with every step I take. I'm from the hood. You know the road, rags to riches. But I grew up watching my bro rolling and hitting it. Walter well, territory start erupting. Meanwhile, I find the golden shells everywhere like they cigarette butts. And I mean, I mean so many golden shells. You know, you make it, it makes you think like it's that, you know, nice, warm, creamy, golden, you know, macaroni. And like, I'm from everywhere and nowhere. My story could be one you lived before or one happened in your own backyard. But everyone has a story to tell. From the homeless man at 7-Eleven to the product of poor parenting waving that pissy pistol. A bullet is like a missile. It will hit precise and direct and cause a long-term family defect. November 15th, 12.16 a.m. If I could go back in time, it'd only be fair that I gave past me a warning. I tell her, man, you don't know how much it sucks going into this world blind. And you don't understand, but one of these days you will. So you can't trust these people. They'll always want something from you. But tell me, have you made it to the days when you have to pretend like you were all right when as soon as you went home, you were trying to make it stop doing whatever was possible, if you know what I mean, or to the boys who drained your self-confidence out of you like you were nothing, or the friends who swore they loved you, then lied and turned their backs as soon as it got hard, or when you had to lose your voice, because, nah, talking loud ain't your place in this world, but I'm not trying to stress you. Poor parenting, women that 50 50. If 
I could go back in time, I'd take back all the times you felt less than. I would take you to the cinema so we can watch the motion picture of the greatest moments we've shared because if there's some bad, there has to be some good too, right? If I could see into the future, it would sure be nice waking up knowing if the lights are gonna turn on, if the water's gonna pour out, where my next meal's gonna be, or even if my mom's got enough money to pay the fee. You know, they say stay strong, think positive, things will get better. But when is that gonna happen? If I could see into the future, would this feeling still consume my well being? Mm. Loneliness is like a roller coaster mm. that has no obstacles. Mm. So can you just give me a peek of your sign? Promise I won't waste it in this love can be a crime. So give me a peek of your sign. Maybe we might fall in love and that it is worth a try. Let's go, let's go, all right, stick and move, stick and move, never forget that, all right? Mm -hmm. Elbows in, hands up, to your face, protect yourself. We're gonna start with a one, two, flip, flip, got it? Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, flip, slip, there it is, there it is, perfect, perfect, one more time. One, two, flip, slip, there it is, there it is, all right. All right, make sure, full extension, all right? Mm -hmm. Don't lean back, full extension. One more time, one, two, slip, slip, perfect, perfect, there we go. All right, hook, hook at the end. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add the hook, hook, don't forget to pivot, all right? One, two, slip, slip, hook, hook. There it is, perfect, perfect. One more time, one more time. One, two, slip, slip, hook, hook. Perfect, perfect. Now, don't forget your pivot. Don't forget your pivot because that's where your power comes from. When you pivot, you <coughs> Coach, are you good? <coughs> yeah. You good? Give me, <coughs> give me a second, give me a second. Dear Mr. A, you changed my life and made me a better kid. I could have been hitting licks, but instead he said put the gloves on and go hit the pads. I could have been running away from cops, but instead he said no, run away from negativity, dear Mr. A. I remember my first time spending the night at his house. He kissed me on my forehead, fed me food, and told me and my cousins to go hard and keep pushing ourselves, dear Mr. A. I also remember my second fight. When I lost bad, but he looked at me and told me it was okay, and it was just time to try harder. But I remember when he told me no smoking weed and don't do drugs. What times in my life I wish you were still alive to see that. Three years later from that day, and I'm still clean. And I wish you was too. I wish cigarettes wasn't what he used to help me cope with whatever it was he was going through. And I wish that I stepped on a pack of Newport so his lungs wouldn't turn black. And so his heart wouldn't be filled with ashes. And so his body wouldn't be in a tomb. Because I remember when he promised the boys if we all won our fights, he'll start smoking. Well, maybe we did a whole win, but you said you'll start smoking. Now you're letting you stop. You start breathing.
Niin. Tehdä sitä ei. I wish I told you sooner so you could see how far I've come. I wish I told you sooner so I knew what it felt like to have a father for the most of my life. Where you at, coach? Because I miss you, coach. But I don't miss the smell of smoke. So for every second I hate you. You took someone special away from me. You took someone away from me that changed my life forever. Coach Angel, I will always remember you. I met one of my best friends a few years ago, right? He was heavily into games, and um, at the same time, though, he always kept it classy, you know? Like, he always told me, real Gs keep it moving silent. So, I met him, and then he showed me into his, he introduced me to his other brother, DeAndre, who surprisingly coached me throughout my entire life, and, uh, <laughs> He introduced me to a couple of things. I mean, like, he introduced me to women. He showed me how to roll, you know, well, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> he also showed me how the game is like right there in front of you. You know how you get the game, right? And you get the manual. It's not even like the manual, it's cheat codes. That's what, he gave me all the cheat codes. Yo, we're about to hit this lick. You're not sleeping on me, are you? <laughs> nah, but all I do is go. Damn. Only 16. He was one of the best young bucks we used to bump me. I guess he's not a little bit no more. I'm like the dad he never had, shit. I'm a role model. Man, I almost feel sorry for this kid. Like, what was our parents ever good for anyway? Maybe I should have never put him on to this stuff. Nah, I'm tripping. Like, I give a shit. I'ma come clean. I never really grew up with my mother or my father in my life too much, so, you know, the streets became my mother, and this man, at this moment, he was my father, because, like, like, is this what a parent does? Like, is this what parenting is? Like, is this bonding? I'm, I, mean, I mean, in a way, it is bonding, because, like, if you think about it, bonding, the definition of bonding is sharing quality time between two people, right? So, this is bonding, just... Not in a very positive way. Twelve, drop that shit, hurry up, we gotta go! You've proven yourself. Welcome to the life. Standing before you today, I'm glad you say I stopped what I did in my past. That I found more purpose in life than it was being out on the streets doing something I had no business doing. At the age of 19, when, I when my mother died from cancer, and I realized my father damn sure wasn't coming back, 
So I still ask myself in another interview. At the time, I had my little boy on the way. But you know, early mistakes, early mistakes. But my child isn't a mistake, you know? He's not, he's not a mistake. I love my child. The mother of my child, the mother of my child, she was murdered by other gang members. And my son, he knows. You see, he knows. And he loves me for who I was and for who I am, the way everyone deserves to be loved. And I don't want to keep losing the people I love. I don't want to keep losing them. So I look at my man. It's crazy how not a lot of people can do that, man.
I don't know how to fight this darkness anymore. Don't show anxiety. Depression. You know they're looking at you. I know. Your shoes, your hair, your nails, your walk, you know they're looking at you. I know. The way you smile, the way you breathe, the way you clench your teeth, you know they're looking at I you. I know. Get up. I said get up. You ask me. You fear me. You wish you liked me, but you don't. I'm changing your heart. I'm here. Depression. You very own devil. I sit and I hear the thoughts of death. I crave your fear. They can see through you. Ah! They know your hurt. They know your pain. They know your insecurities. You know they're looking Stop at me. Stop it. Your heart is pacing 500 miles per hour. There's no running. There's no hiding. There's no getting a friend to help. There's nothing. Because I hope you know they're looking at you. Leave me alone. I will never leave you alone. Do you think there's a cure? Your weakness is my strength, so I keep you weak. So I can stay strong. You think there's joy? I only bring you sadness. Your mood switching, silences, social anxiety, all symptoms of me. Depression. I can make you feel love. But I'd rather make you feel hate. And I hate to love, but I'd love to end this world that none of us can obtain anymore. Don't move, Kaylani! Don't it. be too loud! Don't speak! Don't let them see you! Go to class, get your grades, go home, Kaylani! Don't you dare draw attention to yourself, bro! Because I want to see you cry! The smell of something you love, I turn into something you hate. And the taste of your memories of joy, I spit and I infect with sorrow. I'm born in the girl that I used to be. And I can feel my heart screaming out to me to bring me to my knees. But what am I supposed to do? Because I know they're still looking at me. going out tonight. Kehlani, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a good time. You'll but see. it's not. I'm telling you right now. Like, why do you want me to fake this? I'm telling you I'm not gonna have fun. Like, it's not fun for me. Is he because of him? Girl, it's gonna be fine. Like, just forget about him. Like, it's just no, whatever. Just, I just, like, just watch. Just watch. It's not gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> well, Summer, are you almost ready? That's actually the perfect look for you. It's just one thing missing. Yeah, a smile. <laughs> Yo, can you just tell me why we invited this girl to our party again? Yeah, she's like bad for her. I mean, like, everybody at school is talking about the breakup. Okay, you know? but she's always in her feelings about something else. Like, don't, don't worry about her. Um, but you do look better with a smile, though. Okay, and you say that. <laughs> like, I've been faking my smile. Why is nobody noticing? Why have you been then? Like, do you, I wake up every single morning feeling alone. Like, do you know how hard it is waking up feeling like that? I know, but it's not always gonna be like this. Okay, and you say that, but every single minute, and every single hour of the day, I'm stuck by myself, pulling my own self back together, wiping my own tears. I know, but like, you just, you just need to- It's, 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 it's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever. Let's just focus on Kaylani. Okay. Don't feel bad, you know, because I don't know what it feels like to wake up finding your mother, you know? Now I wake up, I wake up calling my mother, you know? Aww. <laughs> I feel so bad. And you have that attitude, like, I'm just trying to help you. Okay, that's why your braids look crusty. Okay, and that's why you look crusty. Okay, 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 that's why you Still faded, by the way. And your hair's still crusty. God! Oh. Okay. 
All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> but back, oh, but back to what she was saying. Just, it's just, it's just like everything in my life just happens so fast. Like, I don't have time to process it. Like, my emotions are just all over the place. And it's just all this anger is building up inside of me. And I'm just, isn't it? It's kind of like you're like in a movie almost, and like you have no control over your right. life. Like, my life is just one big nightmare. Like, I'm just waiting for it to change. Like, why isn't it changing? Then get up and do something. You know what? Get all tell your boyfriend to shave his mullet off. He still cry. has mullet. Your eyebrows still fade. That's the price of healthy, bro. You <laughs> can't <laughs> strange how we wake up even on our hardest days mm-hmm. like God has a plan for me and he has a plan for you so like trust and believe things will always get better it's not yeah like, they say after every storm you know. there's a rainbow <laughs> <laughs> no forget her because you know you're right it's time for me to stop letting my pain get a hold of me and let my happiness be and that girl can stay home till the fuck out of me. Please, please, don't keep me home. <laughs> he still got a mullet. Y'all got okay, and your uncle still got a mullet. Your braids are crusty. Okay, your eyebrows are faded. Fix them. Can't do this by myself. Will someone come and see? I need a little saving. I kinda need some help. No, no, not this time. I'm not gonna give you any more money, mommy. Not again. You're only gonna use it for more drugs. Mommy, you only ever wanna be involved in my life when things are going well for me, like when I have money. Things are getting better, you're you're sobering up and you don't even want to. Because that's the only time you ever contact me, that's how I know. God, it's Thanksgiving and you can't even be thankful for your own daughter. I'll never be or have enough for you. You're always just stuck wanting more and more and more. It wasn't always like this, you know. I remember being just a child. I was. I was learning to walk on two feet while mommy was learning to get back up from the ground while the weight of abandonment would strain her spine. And so I eventually grew to walking and talking on my own and on days when her body finds a place too comfortable to do anything, I would lay with her in bed and fix the pillows in places where I know she needs support because she needs so much support. I remember sometimes she'd even pull me in and just cry out, ay gracias Gabby. And it's almost as if her weeping would wrap itself around my throat because I was always just left there choking with guilt. And 
now I'm old enough to carry both of our mental anchors and they aren't balanced and oftentimes getting up still feels like a challenge that she or I won't even call help for. You see, <laughs> my mother and I, we really are two of a kind. We've sung each other somber songs enough to sleep. We've called out to gods, deities, demons, anything that would give us a sign that someone out there is listening. We've danced to the rhythm of each other's heartbeats in order to not flatline, in order to keep each other alive. Mommy, if I could, I'd filter you through a lining of happiness to take back all the times you felt less than. I would send you bouquets filled with all the things that I adore about you. I would rid you of your blues in exchange for my sunshine. I would take you to the, to the cinema so we can watch the motion picture of the greatest moments we've shared together because if there's some bad, there has to be some good whether we see it or not. Mommy, if I could, I'd project both of us to a world where joy bonded us together instead of trauma. Mommy, I love you but I wish to one day shed the skin that your addiction has forced me to grow. And I hope that one day you could too. Dan Daniel, I remember when I was like 10 or 11, and, and I was so excited because I finally got to see my dad, and, and I didn't see my dad in years because he was always busy on the other Christmas days. Yeah, I'm a Christmas baby. I just wondered if my dad ever had a father figure in his house. If there was a man to teach him how to mature in life, because if he did, that must have been really nice because I've only had my mother and my aunts in my life and they played both roles and I and I really think it's sad that my dad couldn't even play one. And yet they say that men are stronger than women. But they're yet to prove it. All I know is that when I become a dad, I'll be a better dad than he will ever be. Oh, we have forgot. That's just towards me because he got two other sons. But it's no big deal, right? Because each of us the same, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think. I'm not sure how his love works. But I'll be there for my child. I'll be there for the birthdays. And instead of my child counting lies, I tell him to count the candles. Because, because I'm going to do everything I can to spend time with my child. Unlike you. Because you don't have the time. My mom told me you make time for the things that you love. So I guess everything falls in place. You know, I never really asked for a father. In fact, I don't even know much about him. I don't even know his birthday. But at the end of the day, he is my dad. The man I could say I hate yet love. I just wish I knew what was going on in his head when I was born. Was it, I'm gonna love this boy, hold close to my heart. Or I'm gonna love this boy from a distance far apart. I mean, I do love my dad. Even with all this negativity that's happened in the past, I'm gonna stay positive and I'm thankful for you. And Dad, maybe I could see you next Christmas. That's enough artists for today. Can you 
just give me a piece of your time. I promise I won't waste it and this love can be a crime. So give Things happen in life. And it's only up to you if you let it make a negative or a positive impact in your life. I want to reflect to the younger kids. I want them to know that you can continue doing this your whole life. Or you can stop when you want to. But if you do continue, where will you end up? Rejection is a part of the struggle too. I've been rejected so many times that I just tell myself to feel content with it. But I hate it so much. If there's some bad, there has to be some good too, whether we see it or not. I think it's time to let my heart go. I think it's time to stop focusing on the negative and focus on the positive. It's time for me to lift up my head and pick up my crown because my happiness begins now. So can you just give me a piece of your time? I promise I won't waste it and this love won't be a crime. So 